Hey, what's up guys? How you guys all doing today? So, uh, yeah, today's video I'd like to show the new Bulgarian Digital Bass Knob plugin. So, uh, I contacted uh, Bulgarian Digital, asked them if I can have a copy of this plugin so I could do this video and do a little review. And lo and behold, since they are awesome people, they sent me a copy. So, yeah, I didn't pay for this plugin, but I'm doing this video for it. And uh, so far, I really like it a lot. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you what I have going on in these tracks, how I have this all set up. Talk a little bit about this uh, bass uh, plugin, and uh, that'll conclude the video. Anytime during this video, if you like what I'm doing, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. So, yeah. So, this amp is based on an Ampeg SVT, which I don't know about you guys, but I played the real SVT amp, and they're just killer. So, this is the second, like, one knob type of amp sim, which I like a lot. So, there's people that say, yeah, that's for lazy people, blah, blah, blah. But um, for $39.99, the tone that you're going to hear is is excellent. And I don't know about you guys, but, I mean, I've been playing around with plugins for roughly 10 years or so. And, uh, yeah, I do like to adjust all sorts of different parameters and whatnot, just like some of you guys do. But sometimes I just want to load a plugin, dial it up really quick, and just get the sound that, you know, we all love without having to monkey around for hours trying to adjust to get the tone that we really like. So this is why these uh, plugins are excellent. So as you can see, there's a clean, like for a clean DI type of sound. And then you have your dirty, you know, distorted sound. And you have this one gain knob. As you can see, he put a mark right here. It's pretty much a sweet spot. And Jens Bogren is excellent at what he does. If you guys never heard of him, you should check out his uh, website. Check out uh, Bogren Digital products. And check out his roster. The guy knows what he's doing, all right? So enough of that. And uh, I love using his products, not just because, you know, I got this plugin for free. I pretty much own all their stuff, okay? And to be quite honest, I'm not even going to try to lie to you. I pretty much just use his impulse responses and Christian Cole's impulse responses. I, I don't, I'm not even interested in other impulse responses anymore. I don't even want to try them out. I know what I like, and that's what I use. So, like I said, it has a clean in the in the distorted uh, channel and your gain knob. It also has this tuner, which is pretty sweet, right? You could turn the cab section on or off. Maybe you like to use your own in, impulse response uh, loader. And then over here are some settings, right? If you go right here, you could turn your gate on or off, set your threshold however you like. As you can see, I am running in stereo, right? So that's that right there. So yeah, this is very simple, guys. And uh, I don't know how you wouldn't like it. So right after this plugin, I'm going into this uh, Fab Filter Pro 23 EQ, where I have it high pass at about 60 hertz, low pass at about 4,400 hertz. And then I notched out about 2,500 hertz, about 480 hertz. Bumped it up at 127, and I bumped it up a little bit, roughly about 1100 hertz. Do you have to do this? No, you don't. I just did it because I like how it sounds. But you definitely do, do not have to do this. Yeah, maybe in the full mix, you have to low pass and high pass, right? Maybe adjust a little bit, but for this video, in, in what you're going to see, I really didn't have to do this, right? But anyway, enough of that. So pretty much I have two bass DI tracks that I'm going to let you hear. And I'll go through all the parameters of the bass knob amp. I have this one short DI from uh, Godsmack straight out of line. And then I have this um, DI track right here from a Gojira song, all right? So those are being fed to this guitar box. Where, again, I have the, just this amp and the EQ. That's it. There's nothing on the uh, bass tracks. So my master track, 
I am running SSL bus compressor, about, I don't know, 4 dB of compression, about 3 to 1 ratio, as you can see on my screen. Then I'm going into this um, Plugin Alliance True Peak Limiter, all right? Well, it does a little bit more than just limiting, but it's something for you guys to go check out on your own. You could download a demo copy, check it out, see how you like it. I really like this limiter. I do like the Pro L2 as well, and other limiters that are just as good, and a few free ones. But, like I said, I'm using this one. All right, guys? So let's uh, stop uh, hearing me bullshit and, and talking, and let me let you hear how this sounds. So first, let's try this uh, Godsmack track. I'm just going to keep looping it for you. So yeah, I, I kind of like it with the game turned down a little bit, you know, from the sweet spot. But again, that's subjective, right? And and this is not in a full mix. It's just pretty much bass guitar. So, you know, you might have to adjust the game a little bit in the full mix. So now let me let you hear this other uh, bass track right here, right? See how this sounds. So for for that part, and I, I actually like the clean and the you know distorted tone. And guys, usually I use like um some bass plugin from Submission Audio or Neural DSP Parallax or uh, Dark Glass. But I gotta tell you, man, the simplicity of this amps this bass uh plugin makes makes me want to gravitate to just using this for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's so simple to use. Why not just use this, right? Unless somebody has a specific tone that they really just don't want to change. But for me, this is this is excellent for me. I don't know about you guys, but it's pretty good. So let me let you hear this part of the uh, same song, but a different part of it. It's a little bit faster type of uh, tone. So let's check that out. Sorry about that, guys. Let's try it again. As you can see, even from my hair, it's all messy. But you know what? This ain't a fucking fashion show, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's what it is. Sometimes I fuck up, make mistakes. But let's try it again.
So guys, you know, bullshit aside, joking aside, right? What do you guys think about this base knob, you know, plugin that just came out today? Do you hate it? Do you like it? Do you think it's bullshit? Do you think it's too expensive? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think, all right? So pretty much this uh, video basically has shown what I wanted to show you. So I'm gonna end it right here. And again, guys, thank you a lot for uh, watching my uh, videos, putting up with my shit at times. And uh, yeah, just have a good time with stuff, right? There's a lot of shit in the world that's uh, more important, you know? But anyway, I'll catch you fuckers later. See ya.